Thanks for being here and checking this out today. We're going to look at trigger one last time here and we're going to add it to our floor tom and because there was something, I don't know, something just missing in that floor tom when, we, when it was recorded. So we just want to do that. The tom one and tom two I'm not going to worry about so much because uh, we can just EQ and compress that and make that sound really good. Uh, the floor tom, however, needed some help. So this is going to be pretty quick and easy. We looked at doing the kicks before and the snare, and we used a tr uh, slate trigger two to add some samples for our kick drum and our snare drum, and able to blend that into the recorded track to give us a unique drum sound. So what we're going to look at doing today is pretty much the same thing. Uh, so if you want to follow along here, Okay, we're just going to scroll down and let's find our floor tom. Okay, so there's a floor tom hit right there. So I'm just going to narrow the scope down a little bit there. Okay, actually, maybe there's a couple of floor tom hits. There we go. We'll go over here. There we go. And I'm going to grab all these inserts and move them over to floor tom. Now, again, we grab the mix tool, the view meter, and the trigger. But the trigger is going to have the snare samples because we dragged it from that track we don't want that so open it up right click clear slot right click on each of these samples and clear slot that'll put us back to zero i'll leave the low and high cut here because we'll play with that in a second mix tool we've got uh, 9 db again we probably don't need that much again so we'll bring it down but we'll have a quick listen here and see what's happening Yeah, so we can bring that gain down. All right. Yeah, so it's given us a... Okay, so the, the floor tom hits are above this line, which is great. We don't actually even have to do a whole lot there. Awesome. Uh, high cut, it's a floor tom, so we can probably bring that down. We'll bring it down to, I don't know, let's say 4,000. Low cut, floor tom, I want. Let's turn the mix back up there. Let's bring our loop in a bit. All right, now let's grab a sample. Go to browser, trigger library. Let's go to trigger two toms. Okay, we'll grab tom four out of any of these. Let's grab a metal tom four, see what that sounds like. good sound going here now. Just flipping the phases to see if we get more out of that floor tom by reversing the phase on those mics. Okay, we'll leave it that way. Getting lots of volumes. No. Got a visitor.
you doing? All right. Let's take the loop off. Blend it in a little more. All right, right on. I like it. Good enough for me. Okay, so that's using trigger two on a floor tom, and we used it on the kick and the snare also. And basically, all we did was we just took a few different drum samples, added them in. And then we were able to incorporate that into the overall mix. And yeah, that was really about it. You know, there's lots of different drum products out there that are doing kind of the same thing. So if there's another one that's that you like to use, let me know in the comments below. And uh, tell me all about it and what you love about it, what you don't love about it. And uh, be good to get a discussion going on that. So uh, anyway, thanks for being here and uh, thanks for being a subscriber. And you know what, if you're not a subscriber, uh, help a guy out and just hit the subscribe link below and then also hit the notification bell right underneath and that'll let you know whenever we put new videos out. Thanks for being here. Keep making music. Hi. Hi. Come on. Sorry. Yeah. Look at dad. Look. Oh, well, cool Easy. dude. Ha, ha, ha.